my gymnastics was in Riverside. Um, but yeah, I, I moved out of Riverside when I was 19 um, okay. to Los Angeles. I definitely okay. wanted to just get out of Riverside. <laughs> sure, and sure. I'm planning on never going back. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me the best word. My name is Adam, and this is about you and your journey in music. And obviously, we'll talk about uh, the new record, Boys, as well. Yeah, cool. Awesome, awesome. So first off, where were you born and raised? I was born and raised in Riverside, California. Really? Inland yeah. Empire? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm from San Diego. Okay. okay. I moved to Nashville recently, but um, awesome. So Nashville. Riverside. Yeah, I love Nashville. It's oh, so cool I've, here. I've only been there once, but definitely want to go back. It's snowing here. I was telling okay. Serena. Yeah, it's weird. Like coming from, you know, California, Southern California, we don't see that. So. We don't see, we, we don't see any like, uh, you know, sort of changes in the seasons or anything. So it's bizarre being in, in this situation, but so Inland Empire, Riverside, California, tell me about growing up there. Um, Riverside's kind of boring, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I did, um, gymnastics growing up and that's where my gymnastics was in Riverside. Um, but yeah, I, I moved out of Riverside when I was 19 um, okay. to Los Angeles. I definitely okay. wanted to just get out of Riverside. <laughs> sure, and sure. I'm planning on never going back. <laughs> <laughs> but you did gymnastics growing up? Yeah, I uh, started when I was seven and then I stopped competing when I was 18. Wow. Yeah. So majority did, of your, yeah, your life, yeah, you're doing that. My entire life. I did acrobatic gymnastics. So it's a little bit different than regular gymnastics. You have okay. like partners and you do different tricks and skills with them. Like I had a, a guy partner and he would hold me up in a handstand in one arm and do crazy things. Yeah. He'd throw me wow. in the air and do two flips and he'd catch me. Oh my uh, gosh. So it's a little bit different than regular gymnastics. It's not an Olympic sport, unfortunately. Oh, weird. I would think I it would be. I know. There's like not enough countries that do it. So, because it is kind of small, but there's world championships. That's like the highest competition we had. And I competed at world championships in 2012. Wow. Wow. What place did you say you got? Seventh overall. Seventh. Wow. What was that like? That must have been so much pressure. Oh, yeah. I was uh, 16 and, um, I was training morning and night, like five days a week. Um, literally, my life was in the gym. I was homeschooled. I did online school because I was at the gym at 6 a.m. in the morning until 9 o'clock. And then I would go at night practice from like 5 to 9. So literally oh, just all, all day. day. All day. Oh, my yeah. gosh. I did read that you're from a musical household. Yes. Um, my dad can literally play any any instrument <laughs> he's really yeah it's insane so, so can my older brother but my dad he really loves the drums um and guitar he taught me how to play the drums growing up which was really fun we always oh, had how, like we always had some type of drum set or just like instruments in the garage always always set up ready to go oh did he play in a band or anything <laughs> i am growing up he did um he grew up in orange county and he definitely had like the garage band scene. And okay. <laughs> I've heard some of his songs that he had. Oh my gosh. It's like total like rock, just head banger. Oh, it's, really? Yeah. <laughs> but you never had a chance to see him play. He he gave up the live stuff. Yeah. I mean, I've seen, him, I've seen him play and like, just like for fun, but. Mm -hmm. But not, not in like, like a, like a venue type no. of setting. <laughs> <laughs> what was when did you learn the drums or when did you start putting you on drums i mean since i was little i was okay. just always, he just would always randomly teach me um as as i was growing up there's like a picture of me at three years old just on the drum set oh wow <laughs> yeah do you still play them at all um not like i used to um but like whenever i see a drum set around i like to tinker with it yeah okay <laughs> So drums, did you learn to sing or around that same time? Or like, when did that start? I started singing when I was in like middle school. That's okay. when I did like, I did musical theater in middle school. Mm -hmm. and that's like really when I started to sing, like sing in front of people and really like wanting to sing. Okay. And yeah. did you do that after, you know, you started in middle school, did you continue that? Or was it pretty much like you had so much time doing gymnastics that yeah. it, it really, so I really wasn't only, 
I really only did musical theater in middle school from like sixth grade to eighth grade. And then just gymnastics like took over my life. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I couldn't yeah, I imagine it being that, uh, that level of competition. I yeah. Mean, that's... It, it was insane. The amount of, the amount that I put my body through of work, like <laughs> insane. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I watched this documentary on, I think it was on like Peacock or something. And mm -hmm. it was about the, when the Olympics were happening and all about the trial, the women's gymnastics and the yeah. trials and then who got on the team and just watching the amount of stuff that it, it just blew my mind, how much yeah. work that is. Yeah. And then like the actual pressure of like when you're competing is like crazy. Oh like, yeah. Your nerves are like, I mean, you train for that. Like we, specifically trained to deal with like high pressure situations so like you train for it but it's still like you can't really prepare for like that type of nerve like nerves right and it's a sport where the littlest you know mess up could you could permanently hurt yourself forever yeah. right i mean yeah, you could paralyze yeah. yourself yeah luckily i never injured i never i never had any bad accidents i mean like i have a bad back and bad knee but that's just from years of training. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you watch those. I mean, the the one, I can't think of her name right now. That was the, she didn't compete. Simone in like Biles? A, yeah, Simone Biles. She didn't, she didn't compete in a lot of events because she just wasn't like mentally there. Yeah. And that happens. Like I totally, I totally understand like moves that you do like on a daily basis that are easy for you one day. It's just like something switches and you can't do it. And like, you don't know why like your body is just like nope not today not today and it's literally just like a mental block you're just like overthinking it or it, i mean i can't even imagine that i mean it, i've it's happened to me before like we would do this skill so easy 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 and then one mm -hmm. day just something i don't know my brain just didn't want me to do it uh -huh. <laughs> and it, like you're in that funk for a little bit and then so something else switches and then it's back to normal it's mm -hmm. really it's weird but i mean it, because of the severity of how much you could hurt yourself i mean it made sense that she was like yeah. i'm not doing the you no, know she the... is doing the dangerous dangerous oh yeah that, like what's the 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 they're on the, the vault? not the well that but the beam, where you, the beam. <laughs> oh my gosh mm -mm. you could kill yourself literally yeah. kill yourself yeah insane so yeah when people were talking about like oh you can't do it it's like no. Okay. Like if you're not mentally prepared to do a bunch of flips on this beam, you exactly. are going to yeah. hurt yourself very badly. Yeah. I oh see. my gosh. <laughs> okay. Moving on from gymnastics here for a second. Yeah. So like mm -hmm. you said you did that through up till about 18 and then or 19, you moved to LA. Yeah. So um, did you just, were you just done with gymnastics? Like how did, how did you make that choice? And that must've been a pretty hard decision. Yeah. So it, it, with what I do, you need partners. And so um, I was training again for the second, like my second world championships and mm -hmm. my partners, um, they quit. So I was <sighs> kind of just like left, like <laughs> I can't do anything because I don't have yeah. partners. And it's like, you can't just get new partners. It's like, doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. So like, I kind of just had to like, move on from gymnastics it was either like i can find new partners and like keep going or i can just do something completely different and mm -hmm. i decided to do something completely different okay and yeah. so you're done with it and you just moved to la and what's the the you get there and how do you, when do you start are you thinking about music at this time or is it like i'm gonna just get there and see what happens like where was your mindset when you moved from riverside to la um i just wanted to like tackled the entertainment industry okay. um, I didn't really know like exactly what it looked like but I knew that I loved singing I loved dancing I loved um acting and so I wanted to see what I could do on here um mm. I have a lot of things that I want to do that I want to accomplish in my lifetime um and so yeah like acting is something still that I want to do mm -hmm. um and but like singing right now is definitely my main focus Okay. And obviously you have massive following on online. Was that something that kind of just it happened? Just yeah. Yeah. And like, I didn't move out here thinking, oh, I'm going to gain social media following. Right. Right. Of right. course. <laughs> <laughs> and like growing up, you don't like, that wasn't a thing. That like, wasn't even a right? thing. Right. And you have to kind of <laughs> figure that out. And people are, yeah. you're still, people are still trying to figure it out. Right. It's now it's 
when I went to college, that wasn't a career path. Like you weren't a social media guy. Like that wasn't the thing you, that wasn't a thing right mm -hmm. now. That's like people's jobs and you know, people make money and that, that's their whole life. Yeah. It's crazy. I remember when I first moved to LA, I met a bunch of social media influencers that were really big on like Vine and YouTube at the time. Oh, okay. And I was like, this is crazy. Like what they're doing, like how much money they're making. I'm like, this is like, this is insane. Like I, this, I want to do this. Like, how do mm -hmm. I do this? And so like, I started growing a following, but like, eh, like I grew a little bit, but nothing like really popped off, I guess. Yeah. It uh, wasn't until like Corona during COVID, like the very beginning of COVID. Oh uh, yeah just started posting on TikTok with my two best friends and it just went viral. <laughs> like wow. millions and millions and millions of views. I was like one of the first videos that we did that went viral. I taught them how to do gymnastics. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, but that's creative, right? I mean, yeah. you can't just do what other people are doing. It's like, yeah. okay, I've already seen that. Yeah. It's something about like, you have to create your own thing, your own little niche that people are going to be attracted to. Yeah. And I think it was just perfect timing because like everyone was on the phone. Everyone was on TikTok just scrolling away. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we just kept posting throughout COVID and just I like it slowly progressed. Yeah. I had like a million on TikTok before I started <laughs> and then I grew like in a year or to, to now like 10 million followers. That is so nuts. Insane. Like, like crazy. <laughs> That's so fast. when you think of like that number though, I mean, that's, it's, it's so beyond people's like my comprehension. Cause you think of like back in the day, it was like radio, which I came from. And it's like, okay, I'm in this yeah. market. That's big. Like I was in the fourth biggest market in San Francisco. And it was like only six, seven million, million people, which is nuts. And then you have more of a following than the biggest, some of the biggest cities in the whole country. Yeah, that's crazy. That's so <laughs> that's crazy to think about yeah and like it's just, like if they're an actually process like what like what it is it's crazy right i mean wow i mean to have like what was the first you said you had the first video go viral was that like did you have a small following and then that thing just goes nuts and you're like looking at your phone like whoa like what what is happening yeah like videos would get like 20 million views and i'm like what the heck? <laughs> like this is crazy 20 million views and then like i slowly see my followers just go up go up go up go up go up and i'm like whoa like this is like i don't like, you don't even know what to think because it's just like people are like like watching your videos and it's like whoa how do how did this happen <laughs> right and you but you have to continue with it too i mean it becomes yeah, a job yeah, yeah. i mean that's your job right you have to yeah. create content constantly and that must get tired tiresome within itself it's not like you have a nine to five you clock in and you're out it's like you got to create a video you got to create content and then if you're not then i'm sure if you just yeah, stop yeah. posting for a month or two it would yeah, start probably that. to fall off right yeah like you always have to be like on top of everything and on top of the latest trends and just constantly creating which definitely is exhausting mm -hmm. um like just being creative 24 seven and also like finding the, like the boundary of like my real life. And then like what I post on social media, cause like I post my life on social media. And so it's kind of hard to like figure out like what I do post and what I don't post and like what I'm doing for myself and what I'm doing for social media. So it's like finding the boundary between them. Yeah. I, I imagine that being very hard, especially in, you know, in this day and age where everyone wants to know exactly what you're doing. Like, Oh, we're, you know, I want to see your, it's like, you have to open the curtain to your whole life to everybody. And if you start to kind of close that, then, you know, yeah. where is it? Are people going to yeah. go away or like, yeah, I can't imagine having to, that's gotta be a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um, and it's just like, I feel like I work 24 seven. <laughs> right. Right. Like I said, you don't have a nine to five. You have to continue stay on it. Yeah, you do. Or else you do lose followers. You do fall off. You do like, and you, there's no way you can control like who follows you and who doesn't follow you, mm -hmm. which also can be frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. You can't control the algorithm. If you could no. do that, then everybody would be famous, you know? Yeah, you can't but. control anything. It's like you spend this much time on a video and you post it and it doesn't do as well as you thought it was going to do. And like, that can kind of be frustrating. It's like, right. I spend this much time. And it's like, 
it didn't do well. So you right. can kind of you just have to just keep posting and kind of just not really dig too deep into the numbers because you can't control them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I yeah. mean, advice to like creators, just like don't worry about like the numbers. Like just keep doing what you're doing because you can't you can't control it. You can't. Control right. It. Right. That's that's, per that's amazing advice. And then with that, like, are you like having that much going on as far as the, the social media stuff, like? How are you, like, when does the music thing come around where you're like, okay, like, I really still want to do this. I want to sing and I want to, I want to be a musician and artist. Like it, that, is that hard to juggle with all the other stuff you have going on? And then you got married recently. Congratulations. I'm engaged. I'm not married. Or engaged. Yet. Sorry. Engaged <laughs> recently. Yeah, no, definitely. There is a lot of things that I'm juggling right now, but I, I love it. I love to do a lot of things at one time. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like to challenge myself. Um, I mean, I've been working on music secretly for like the past two years. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. So I've been really, I wanted to like take my sound seriously and figure out what I wanted to do, like mm -hmm. what type of music I wanted to do, what sounded best with my voice. Um, and so that definitely was like a secret from social media. Like I didn't really post about it. I didn't really talk about it just because I wanted to make sure it was really good. Like I wanted to really work on it and be taken seriously. Cause like being a social media influencer and like trying to make music, like everyone has their comments about it. People right. Are, it's crazy. It's like, like I'm sure they're like, Oh no. yeah. Now you want to be a musician, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But it's like, you grew up around music. You're in musical theater. <laughs> From what I read, like you, you can play guitar and piano and ukulele and like all these instruments that I don't know if you share that with your social media follow. I, I don't, I don't know why <laughs> I don't. Um, I don't know. I just, I do play the ukulele, but I can't play the ukulele with my nails. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or guitar or any of that. I don't have a piano. I don't have any drums. So I don't really have anything ex accessible to me uh -huh. to like share that. But um, no, like everyone has something to say. It's like, if I wanted to do anything, I feel like, everyone would have something to say about it because it's like right. oh social media influencers you want to try to do something new like yes I do want to do something new like I don't want to just keep myself in a box right and just stay there like I have lots of things that I can do I'm very talented and I want to explore those options mm -hmm. and just because I'm an influencer like that doesn't that shouldn't stop me right and obviously you're creative very creative so creative people want to keep create creating right that's your yeah. that's what keeps your brain moving and that's what yeah. keeps you going yeah do you feel like because of the discipline you had with gymnastics your whole life that kind of set you like in a, a good space for what you you're doing now yeah definitely I learned how to like work hard at a very mm -hmm. young age and like to set goals and how to reach those goals um gymnastics definitely helped with that because like you have to learn that type of work ethic. It's like mm -hmm. some people aren't born with it and they have to like, re they really struggle with it. And so, um, yeah, it started when I was seven. Like I jumped yeah. right into it and I started training at a high level at so young. And so definitely helped me. Yeah. I mean, and, and people think like, oh, you know, with the social media influencer thing, it's like, oh, well, she just got lucky or whatever. It's like, no, nope. there's so <laughs> much work that goes so on. Much work. Yeah. Or, it, like, like, it looks like I blew up overnight, but like I actually have been trying to do like the entertainment industry since I was 19. So it's like, right. it's been, right. been a lot of years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it didn't and, just happen randomly. Yeah. And just because it happened, it happened to really take off within the yeah. past two years. That's just what happened. Right. I mean, yeah. the hard work finally paid, paid off. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I feel like people get a lot of stuff. I mean, get a bad rep for that in the sense of like, Oh, you know, she doesn't have to do that much. It's like, no, you're working harder than most people there or, it, and especially like you hear a pop song on the, on the radio or it's like, I can do that. It's like, no, you, if you could do that and it was that easy, then why are you not doing it? Why are you yeah. working like a nine to five? Why are you working at McDonald's? If it was so easy. Yeah. It's hard. So, the music yeah. industry is definitely like really, really hard. Yeah. As I've been doing this, I've realized like, wow, like there's just so much more to it than just like making a song. Right, right. And when you decided to finally, because you, you, you talked about music was kind of like your thing, like you 
it wasn't, you were telling people about it. You weren't sharing yeah. it on social media. Um, when, when did you decide like, you know what, I, I really want to start to put something out. Like, like, tell me about boys. Like how did you get from keeping it to yourself and now you, you put a record out? Yeah. Um, I remember like one day I sent a video to my manager of me singing just like randomly. Mm -hmm. and like she freaked out she's like oh my god like we need to just like get you in the studio and like get mm -hmm. you working <laughs> uh, I don't know like it randomly just one day wanted to just send her a video I don't know why <laughs> um and so like we took a while like figuring out my sound and doing all that and I don't like we were trying to figure out like what's the right song to come out with and like what's the right vibe to come out with and boys just felt like it was very pop and that's the kind of way I'm going is pop mm -hmm. pop music um and so like, I have a ton of tracks I have a ton of recorded music ready to go oh wow um, okay and it was just kind of like deciding like what I wanted to put out first um mm -hmm. and I don't know boys just felt right it's a great song. It's a really cool Thank song. <laughs> and you had a song before that, but it was it was part of a different project, right? A few other people yeah, with I you. Yeah, I came out with a Christmas song with my two best friends, Taylor and Nate. Um, and those are the ones that I uh, been, been, went to viral on on TikTok with. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and so we just wanted to do like something fun and because we all sing. And so we thought it was a good idea to come out with a Christmas song just because we all sing and it would be really fun. And that was kind of like my first, like telling people like, Oh, I sing. <laughs> right. That's, that was, that was my next question. Like, was that your first real, like, Hey, everybody, I can actually, I sing, I'm, I sing look, yeah. watch. <laughs> yeah. That was like the first time anyone has, I think heard me sing. Like I would always sing on like live whenever I go live, like I would sing mm -hmm. a little bit. And it's so, like some people who like would watch my live, like my, my true fans, like mm -hmm. they knew that I sing. Um, but like, I feel like everyone was really shocked when they heard the Christmas song. <laughs> They're like, oh, wait, <laughs> she sings. Right, <laughs> cool. right. And that so is... from there, that was like my first first song out with the mm. people. Was um, that a terror? Were, were you worried about that at all? Like putting it out? Was it kind of like, I don't know if I want to let people know about this or? Um, yes, I was more like scared of like how people would react, I guess. It's like, okay. were people going to be mean? <laughs> right like, people usually are mean when you try to do something new um but like everyone loved it it was a christmas That's song cool. it's fun it's mm -hmm. and like i feel like it's a really good christmas song so people were really they were really nice about it so that was that was very encouraging yeah did that help ease into putting out boys yeah i mean i knew that putting out boys there was going to be more like criticism and more mean people just because i'm like trying to do something myself and do something new mm -hmm. um but there's been also there's been a lot of love which i'm very grateful for that is amazing and you said you have other songs right done as well i do i have like a whole whole list of really songs. What yeah. what's the plan like are you gonna put a record or is it just gonna kind of see you know, single to single, like, are you going to keep continuing to put out music? I would imagine you are. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a single to single um, for a little bit and then come out with an EP this year. Wow. Yeah, I'm excited about. Yeah. Are you going to do live like performances too? Like I, yeah, I, right, right. Yeah. But is it going to be like, are you going to, are you going to play out live and stuff and like support the records or is that something you'd want to do or interested in doing? Yeah, no, that's definitely something I want to do. Um, I, I'm a dancer as well. I competed in dance while I was competing in gymnastics. Oh right. my gosh. <laughs> I did it all. <laughs> so um, perform, I love performing. It's like one of my favorite things to do. And so I would love to perform my songs and like dance to my songs and really just make an insane performance. Like that's like my goal is to like be an insane performer. So that's definitely something I want to do and I'm like, like ready to do. Like put a whole like choreo choreographed yeah. thing together for like an yeah. entire show. Yeah, that's what I want to do. That is awesome. I bet mean, with the, you know, the, you're talking about with gymnastics, you kind of have to put yourself in this mind frame. Like you learn to kind of shake the, the nerves, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder, will, will you be more nervous to do something like that than gymnastics or? <sighs> I I don't know. I think so. Just because I feel like singing is definitely more like vulnerable. <laughs> oh, sure. 
Um, and like, especially I'm trying to sing and dance and do all this at once. And so um, I think it'll take me a little bit to like get used to it and like sure. really get into like my own groove and like mm -hmm. not be so nervous. Right, <laughs> right. Gymnastics, I did it for so long. And like, I figured out like what I can do and like what helps me calm my nerves. But I feel like this is different. Singing mm -hmm. and dancing is different. Right, right. And you, with your dad being a musician, you said your brother is a musician as well? Yeah, my older brother, he is a phenomenal guitarist and he can play literally any instrument too. And my younger brother, he plays the bass. So oh. we have a whole little band. <laughs> I was going to say you have a family band. Do, yeah. do they help contribute to the record at all or? Um, uh, no, I'm definitely going to have my older brother um, do some guitar on some of my future songs just because like he is insane. Like he's so good. Um, so I would love to have him. I think it would be really fun to like if I do have a performance like in L.A. or something like have my dad play the drums. And, like, yeah, I think that would be so fun. <laughs> that is so cool. How and he must be really supportive of what you're doing as far oh, as yeah. music goes. Yeah, my dad, he just he's very supportive. He loves what I'm doing. He's so excited. Do you send him the songs before or like has he does he do you send them to him and kind of get his feedback at all or um uh, yeah i remember i sat i sat down with him because i didn't always want to send it to him and like not see his reaction in real life so like i sat down with him in my car and like played all my songs for him and he was just like this is you <laughs> like oh, wow. he was like so shocked <laughs> but he he gave me feedback on what he thinks and uh, i definitely take what my dad says to heart so that is so uh, cool yeah well, talking about performing too, real quick, is you were in a with your dance troupe, you like toured. I mean, like you were doing that oh, also yeah. with with <laughs> gymnastics, right? I mean, yeah, you opened up for Justin Bieber. Did I see that? I did. Uh, like, that was back what? In 2015. Um, me and my best friend, we created this group called the Acrobots and we did gymnastics on hoverboards. What? And, yeah. <laughs> We went like viral on YouTube. We made a video to Justin Bieber song "Sorry," and uh -huh. that video like has like seven million views on. I I don't know what it's at now, but on YouTube it has like seven million views. And um, Ellen wanted us to come on her show, and so it was Bieber Week, <laughs> and we opened up for him before his concert, and it was it was so cool, so so cool. But yeah, I went like all over the world doing gymnastics on hoverboards i went to like canada i went to india um all over the united states like yeah wow and it just started did it just gain the traction from the the video online yeah it gained traction from there from the ellen show and then people just started to reach out to us and wanted to perform at their events and yeah it was crazy. whoa was that your first real like viral success moment yeah that was it yeah. Oh my gosh. And that just had a, that changed it, right? That changed everything for you. Yeah, definitely. I saw like the potential of like what could happen when like stuff does go viral. Right. Yeah. Wow. That is incredible. And I, like I said, I love the song. It's awesome. I can't wait to hear the other songs in, on the record that are coming out. Yeah. I'm so excited for those. I'm so, so excited. Have and you I'm, teased I'm them all at in all? The studio. I'm oh, you are? In the studio again, working on new music. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Have you had a chance to like, do you tease the songs on TikTok at all? Um, I'm going to. So okay. now, like, since it's all out, it's like, oh, I'm, I sing, I'm a singer, I'm an artist. So now I'm definitely going to tap into like teasing my music, me in the studio, working on new songs. So I'm excited to share that side now. Yeah. Wow. Did you do that at all with boys or no? It was it just like, no, I'm going to do this. Like me in the recording studio, like on Instagram, mm -hmm. and people were like, "What a new song? <laughs> what?" <laughs> like I never really said anything, um, but like I'm excited to like really do a bunch of teasers. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> that is so cool, and I appreciate you doing this. Thank you so much for 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 hanging out with me today. I really really appreciate it. Thank you. It was great talking to you. Yeah, I have one more question. You actually kind of answered it earlier when I was. Yeah. Uh, I want to know if you have any advice for aspiring artists. You kind of answered that to creatives. Or yeah. Do you have any advice for, for aspiring artists? Um, stay true to yourself. Don't let other people tell you what to do. If you have a vision, stay with that vision. Don't let anyone else tell you who that you, Don't let anyone else tell you who you are. You know who you are. Bring me the best